Um, let me take another example. Let me take e to the p tan inverse x over 1 plus x squared. Now, all the time, all this time, we were substituting things to be equal to p. But here, you already have a p in the question, which is given to be a constant. p is a constant, okay? So, here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rewrite this thing first as e to the p tan inverse x. 1 over 1 plus x squared d of x. Now you know that this should be f dash x d of x. And the function here is tan inverse x since the derivative of tan inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to substitute tan inverse x but I'm going to take this as um, let's say phi because p is already given as a constant in the question. Okay. So let's say it is equal to phi, and then I differentiate both sides this time with respect to phi. So 1 over 1 plus x squared, the derivative of x with respect to phi equals to 1, the derivative of phi with respect to phi. Okay. So um, the integral, I'm going to just replace tan inverse x by phi, that's what I've taken it to be and this whole thing by d phi okay just take d phi on the other side you'll get 1 over 1 plus x squared d of x equals to d phi okay so replace this whole thing by d of phi right there so i get e to the p okay i'm using orange no problem e to the p phi d phi and you know the integral to that. It's e to the p phi over p plus c. That's the answer. You can, you should actually, of course, replace p by tan inverse. Sorry, phi by tan inverse x. Sorry about that. Should replace phi by tan inverse x. So you get e to the p tan inverse x over p plus c, which is your answer. Okay, so that's how you use substitution method.